Hi, this is Allison from East Cobb Tutoring Center, and today we're going to talk about arithmetic sequences and series. The first thing we need to get started is to understand that when we have an arithmetic sequence, we are adding the same amount each time. So in this row of numbers that I've written here, let's put some commas in there, this is a sequence, and each time I'm adding the number 3. So for this pattern, we would say that the first term, A1, is 3, and the common difference is 3 because each time I'm adding 3. The next pattern we can look at would be something like, uh, like this. 1 half, 1, 3 halves, whoopsie, 3 halves, 2, 5 halves. This is another arithmetic uh, sequence where the first term, in this case, A1, is one half, and the common difference, d, is one half. I'm adding one half each time. All right, so now let's look at a formula. The formula that we use for um, finding the nth term for an arithmetic uh, sequence is a n equals the first term, a1, plus n minus 1 times the common difference, d. So I have some example problems for us to try. Let's say that we know our first term, a1, is 7. And we know that our common difference, d, is 4. And our job is to find the fourth term. So using my formula that I've written above, we're going to do a1 plus n minus 1. So since n is 4 in this problem, right here I'll put 4 minus 1, and then our common difference. Now we'll fill in the given numbers. So a1 was 7, 4 minus 1 is 3, the common difference is 4, and so now we can add up uh, 7 plus 12, so my answer is 19. We can check this by writing out a couple of terms for the problem. Let me show you what I mean. So we started with uh, the first term being 7, and each time we were adding 4. So the next number would be 11, then 15, then 19, and this is the fourth term, which is what we got with our formula. <coughs> Excuse me. It may seem like we would just want to add 4 each time, but sometimes we're asked to find terms that are a little bit larger. Let me show you an example of that. Take, for example, in the same situation, we're asked to find the 26th term. If this were a test or quiz, you wouldn't want to add 4 on 26 times. You wouldn't have enough time to do it. So instead, we can use our formula, the first term plus n minus 1, so 26 minus 1, and then the common difference, which was 4. So my 26th term is, let's see, 107. So you can imagine that would take a long time if we were writing out all of the numbers. Let's try another example problem. All right, so again, we're going to use this equation. The nth term equals the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference, d. Um, in this problem, we're going to be given that the sixth term is 16. And we're going to be given that the ninth term is 28, and we have to find the first term. So we're going to have to do a little bit more work here because we have to actually solve for something that's part of our formula. So what I'm going to do is write two equations, and then I'm going to solve them like a system. So the ninth term, which was 28, so let's write this, the ninth term is equal to the first term plus 9 minus 1 times the common difference. The sixth term is equal to the first term plus 6 minus 1 times the common difference. So I'm going to fill in the numbers that we know. So it looks like this. The ninth term was 28 equals a1 plus 8d, and the second one, um, a, 
the sixth term is 16 equals a1 plus 5d. And what I've created here is a system of two equations. I can solve these by just subtracting them. If I subtract these two equations, the a1 terms are going to cancel out. So let's see, that'll give me 12 equals 3d. So that means the common difference is 4. Now, if you recall, we were supposed to be finding the first term. So we've got one more step to do here, and then we'll be all done. Uh, remember that the ninth term was 28, and that's equal to a1 plus oops, equals a1 plus 8d. Well, we know that d is 4, so 8d is 32. I'm going to subtract 32 from both sides. And when I do that, I'm going to get that the first term, a1, is equal to negative 4. I'm having a little bit of a hard time with my pen on that one. a1 is equal to negative 4. And that would be my final answer for this one. So that takes care of arithmetic sequences and series. There's just one formula to know, and it's this one that we had up here at the top of the paper. There it is.